In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create tables for your Elementor WordPress websites. This is Elliot with Verpex, and let's get straight into it. So from your Elementor WordPress website, you are going to head over to Plugins and click on Add New. From here, you are going to search for a plugin called Easy Pricing Tables, and then you should see this first plugin here, Pricing Tables WordPress Plugin. So just click on Install Now. Once the plugin has finished installing, you are going to click on Activate. Once the plugin has been activated, you can scroll down on the left hand side and you will see pricing tables and we are going to click on add new. You will then be presented with three options, new short code, new page with pricing table, add table to post. Now we are going to go for the short code option because this allows us to add the table anywhere on an Elementor page. So click on new short code. You will then be shown multiple different templates that you can use to create your table. So just choose a template that you like the look of. I'm going to go for this middle one here. So we're just going to click on this. From here, you can easily start editing your tables. So you can click on any of the text and edit it. You can go and add additional features. And if you click on the button, you can go and add a link for where you want the buttons to go. So this could be to a particular product or another page that you want to direct your customers or your page viewers to. You can also go and change the colors. So for example, if I was to click on this, we can go over to colors and we will see plan text, button text and things like that. So you can easily go and change any of these colors. So for example, if I wanted to change a button color, I can easily go and change this or I can go and enter in a hex code here. I'm going to leave it as the default color for now. Now you can also go and add additional rows and columns to your tables. So if you click on the plus button, you will see new column before, new column after, new row before, new row after. So if we click on new column before, for example, we can see that it's added an additional column here. We can also click on the plus button. And if we click on new row before, we can see that it has added an additional row. You can of course go and delete these as well. So if you go and choose a column, you can just go and hit this remove column button and click on confirm and it will go and delete any of those additional columns or rows that you have added. And that is pretty much it. So once you are happy with the design and you've got all of the relevant information added to your table, you can click update in the top right hand corner. So now we are ready to add our table to an Elementor page. So we are going to click on the WordPress icon in the top left hand corner. And now from here, you are going to scroll down to the pricing tables tab again and click on easy pricing tables. You will then see a list of all of the tables that you have created. And then you can click on the short code and click on control C to copy this short code. We will then go over to pages and click on all pages. And then you can find the Elementor page that you want to add your table to. So I'm just going to add it to the home page. So I'm going to click on edit with Elementor. Once your Elementor page has loaded, you can find an area where you want to add your table. And then you are going to click on the plus button to add a section. Click on the plus button again, and we are going to choose a single section. Now we are going to click on this little grid icon and we are going to search for a widget and we are going to type in short code and we are going to drag the short code widget into our section. And then where it says enter your short code, we are going to paste that short code for our table and we are going to hit apply. Now, don't worry if you don't see your table being shown right away, you are just going to hit update. And once you have saved that update, we are going to click on the hamburger icon and we are going to click on view page. And now if you scroll down to the section that you just added with the shortcode, you will see the amazing tables that have been added to your Elementor WordPress website. So there you have it, a super easy way to add tables to your Elementor WordPress websites. If you have enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the Verpex channel for more WordPress related content. This has been Elliot with Verpex and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.